Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and are making some really good trades. And let's dive into some Jamie analysis here. And again, before we continue, huge thank you to everyone who's been supporting the channel. We actually crossed over like 1,250 subscribers today. And the last video got 4,000 views, so it's, it's insane. You guys are blowing up my channel. It's super cool. But anyways, let me give you guys the content that you guys came here for, I guess. So, um, right now, uh, GME is following my count, uh, my count here, but the, the bear scenario, which I thought might be playing out today. Uh, it's not to say that I'm always right, but looks like we called this one correctly inside the Discord. So... I think we got lower to go, uh, but not much lower. And this is my buy area for GME down at $21.88. And then this the $16.38. So this is going to be a buy to dip for me. When I get on the smaller time frames, I see we made a nice little low here on the RSI. I'd be looking for maybe one more low uh, and then a quick reversal out of this level here. Out of 21 to 20 bucks, I'm looking for a sharp reversal out with bullish divergence. Then I'm going to see... To it that this C leg is possibly in and then this as Y wave is also coming to an end right so there was a lot of hype today um, for I mean there was a lot of hype for today's announcement and it really like I watched the, the shareholder meeting as well and it was like 15 minutes long and they didn't really say much and then that was it right they just ended the call they didn't really want to address the three billion dollars in cash that they raised and I think a lot of people were disappointed and it just goes to show you know don't don't just buy a stock you know i see the reddit post don't just buy a stock based on news events right or hype up to news events usually those can end up being sell the new scenarios um and it's better to look at the chart in my opinion right i've found that it's better to look at technical analysis to find better entry points uh for for long positions right like i i long here at the lows at 23 dollars and 50 cents uh, i'm still i'm actually sorry i cashed out the portfolio position uh before the the market open and then i'm still in my personal position and my personal position is actually a little bit higher than this it's actually at 25 dollars and 70 cents so still holding that one but ultimately i think that we have uh one more dip down and then a nice reversal out again i could be wrong but let's take a look here at market cipher so the daily time frame now shifting from bullish to bearish and uh we have a red cross on the daily time frame so that's a bit bearish but it's when you dig into the smaller time frames like the four hour you still got lots of green money flow you did get a pretty severe blood diamond here showing that you know, a lot of downsides coming but we didn't we could and they, near the second half of the day kind of slowed down uh and uh when i take a look at the 24 minute and the 12 minute, right, the smaller, smaller time frames, I'm seeing a nice little red dot here for a dip lower, but I'm gonna be looking to see if this momentum wave is gonna dip down and the price is gonna dip down lower. And then if we make a higher low, uh, then we'll be a nice little trigger wave, nice little entry point that's gonna to signal to us that we're gonna get a nice little bounce here uh, around maybe 21 to 20 bucks. So, I mean, it, it doesn't even, it doesn't mean that we have to dip there either, right? I'm already seeing um, some tweets from Roaring Kitty and he tweeted like some guy wearing a red headband and then some sad face with uh, some some green glow. So I think the news and it's I think it's a news announcement that's going to be dri driving this rally higher uh, for GME GameStop. And I, I really still think that we can go higher. I really do. All right. Unless there's like a detrimental drop in, in the stock of GME or something really bad happens but he you need to take into account right uh if if you're basing your trades on roaring kitty and you're you're panic selling on days like today um and you're following him he mean you think that he's selling out of his uh 200 million in gamestop or whatever because of a 10 percent or 12 percent down day no he doesn't care about days like this because he's he's looking at the months ahead of the company right so either they're going to do something pretty drastic with the, the cash that they've accumulated and it's going to be a big news event that's going to drive the stock higher to back to the 120s in my opinion 
and I think it's going to be a, a nice relief rally too because it's going to it's going to bail out a lot of people. You know, some some people have been holding, like I've you know I've been reading the posts and stuff on on the forums, and people have been holding for years, right? Decades, <laughs> not decades, obviously, but years. Right? They've been holding since twenty twenty one, and they're they're still not selling. And after that, I think you can even go higher than that. But I don't know. I cannot tell you what the news is going to be. But from what I see on the charts, I think that this is this is the way to go with GameStop. But I think we have a little bit of a little bit more pain coming. And this is just, I mean, for the people that have been holding since like 400, this is like it doesn't matter, right? It's like who cares? But for those who are like FOMOing in and entering in in positions at like 28, 29. You know, this is going to, this is a shakeout. This is like, this is what we call a shakeout. They're going to test you, right? They're going to test your, your will to hold. How, you know, can you hold your positions at these levels? And, you know, mo I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet some people are going to get emotional, right? Because, you know, investing, it can be emotional handling money. And if the losses are too much, people, that's it. I got to get out, get cash me out. Enough is enough. And that's usually when. Uh, the market reverses so i'm willing to bet that we're going to get a nice reversal once we get into this area but nothing is guaranteed i can be wrong <clears throat> let's see how the next couple days and week i mean till the end of the week is going to play out right now we can take a look at our new weekly candle too and we actually have a red dot right now right so we still got red money flow we got a red dot uh but again another factor that i think is going to be driving gme and uh, you know maybe even AMC as well is that the the small caps are gonna come back and um, to show you guys very quickly a chart that I I'm, I've been you know following as well is that I'm long the IWM after today well actually on you know last Friday uh, got long uh, the IWM because I saw that we were nearing a, a low here in terms of uh, you know a bearish count. And now we have, we kind of finished it this morning with some nice bullish divergence and a lower low. Uh, and then we took off. So this is exactly something that I'm going to be looking for, right? And I think that once the IWM starts to rally higher with the big drop in yields and a big drop in the dollar, uh, I think that's going to fuel the rally for small caps and speculative names like GME. So I'm willing to bet, you know, I'm putting my money where my mouth is, right? I'm, put, I'm, I'm putting... I'm putting my bets on the small caps to get this big, tremendous rally uh, before we really find a significant top of this market. Uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm bearish, but you've got to follow the charts. And I'm long the indices. I'm long the NASDAQ. I'm long the IWM. I'm long the Dow Jones. The only one that I'm, I'm not long right now. Oops. The only one that I'm not long right now is, um, is uh, the S&P, right? And really, you know, after that, there's, there's really nothing else. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I remain bullish on Jamie. I like I like this stock. <laughs> and I think we got higher to go. So let's see how this one plays out. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the analysis. Thank you so much for the support. And I'll catch you guys on tomorrow's trading after, after the market close. Peace.